you are welcome to a demo on how to create project definition in the project builder. For the purpose of this demo, we shall be using the SAP Fiori user interface. To create a project definition, you would have to go into our project builder. A project builder tile can be found under the project financial control category. We click on our project builder. So the project builder is where we are able to create our project as well as schedule activities. With the interface of the project builder, we are presented with three key areas. The first has to do with the structure tree. So this is where project objects such as project definition, WBS, network, network activities, milestones, etc., are presented in the hierarchical structure. The work area presents the corresponding details of the project object chosen in the structure tree. The work list and template area. So the work list area presents us with the five most recent projects we've worked on, recent projects we've worked on, a template area presents us with individual objects such as the project definition, WBS, network, material components, etc. So these are objects that can be used to create a project. To create a project definition, we would have to first start with the creation of a project. So that goes to mean that in creating a project, the first object you create is the project definition. This is because the project definition is the framework for your project. And also it contains dates, organizational information that are binding for the entire project. For the purpose of this demo, we shall use a sample project which we are going to create from scratch. And the name of this project would be payroll software. So we would have to start with the creation of the project. Therefore, come to create, click on project. And in our work area, we are presented with this interface. So first you would have to enter a project code and also give your project a favorable description. So for the payroll software project, the code we shall be using is PS20 demo where PS simply stands for payroll software, 20 stands for the year 2020 of which we are commencing the project and demo to indicate that this is just a demo. So we give it the description payroll software. After giving the description, we select the appropriate project profile. It is important to take note when selecting the project profile because after you have saved the project, you would not be able to change the project the profile again. Your project profile houses the configurations that you require 
to plan and manage your projects. You can go on further to enter other profiles such as the budget profile. the planning profile, network profile, etc. And bear in mind that these uh, profiles that could be customized according to your preference. So after you've entered your desired thoughts under your control tab, now go to the payroll, the basic data. So under the basic data tab, we ensure that our controlling area code and company code are accurate and they are as we want them to be. We then choose a start date. Say we want this project to begin on 15th May, 2020 and we want it to end on 28th August, 2020. After this, you hit enter, and in your structure tree, you could see that our project definition has been created. So our project definition, description, as the name payroll software, and we have the code PS20 demo. So this brings us to the end of the creation of project definition. See you in our next session.